Hey everybody, welcome to another video and today we're gonna, well, paint this dragon over here. This is my third dragon and honestly, I, uh, I tried looking around. <laughs> I'm not so sure where the scalps come from. In fact, it looks like um, a mixture of uh, a few different kinds of dragons, a dinosaur. Um, now, I got this from um, a dollar bill store. I did two of these already. So if you want to have a look, the first one is over here. Uh, the second one is also in the link right there. I'm gonna have a look at those. Now, um, I've, I've, been, I've been wondering where they got the sculpt from. Perhaps they've knocked it off from somewhere. But I've, I've tried looking. I haven't found any. So if you, if this is, this figures are in any way uh, familiar to you, do let me know. I'll, I'll be very, very curious to find out where they're from. Now, um, again, this is uh, from uh, the Dravel, the Dragon Devil Dom content. And it's released by uh, Joytit. Again, I tried looking, I have no idea um, who they are. But um, I use figures like this to learn, learn painting or to paint, uh, you know, to relax. It's nice sometimes to paint something that's different. Of course, uh, usually um, it's an it's a investment to actually start painting. Because you gotta go and get the figure. So getting figures like this uh, are great for uh, practice. Um, like with everything in life, you've got to practice and um, yeah, the sculpt's pretty good. Let's have a look at the sculpt though. Right, so let's have a look at the figure. This is it. Ooh, from the box, the packaging is really, really nice. Um, but you know, from the, uh, from the onset, you can actually see um, the paintings are really fantastic. But you know what, let's, let's crack it open. There you go. So let's have a look at that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Look, <laughs> it looks like a dinosaur's head. Uh, it looks like um, uh, what you call that? A uh, pleuro, pleuro, pleuro. Parasaurolophus. Yeah, yeah, the head. Um, but um, the painting is, is rubbish, to be honest. Uh, and it's got a Dagomizer. Oh yeah, Dagomizer right there. Um, this figure is great though. Um, it looks... Um, like I probably have to nice, find a nice base for it. I'm not so sure whether I want to go for um, it being you know, grey. You know, or an ice, ice figure. It doesn't, doesn't say that it's an ice figure. Or does it look like an egg? It looks more, it looks more, hmm, it looks more, I want to say more reptilian. Like, what, what am I saying? Most, most, most dinosaurs are reptiles. So I'm going to decide what color I'm going to go for here. Maybe a green, maybe a brown. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll look at the pleuro, pleuro Parasaurolophus. Yeah, that, and I'll probably use that color scheme because it seems like I could get away with that. It's got this little like neck here, which maybe I could have a different color going for that. Um, as for the wings, um, yeah, the usual leathery wings, I, I guess. It looks like it's leathery. And for the tagomizer, um, maybe uh, a something that's uh, brightish so this can be like like uh, the the end of the tail can be slightly bright well it's not really a tagomizer it doesn't have spikes <laughs> but it's also a reminiscent of this other dinosaur which has a tail like this it's called a um, gliptodont yeah that so um let's get let's get let's get painting this Right, so a slight change of plan. I gave it um, a white matte undercoat. I didn't clean the figure actually yet. Should be clean, but never mind. It's one of those figures you uh, you know paint very quickly. Now, um, 
deciding what colour I want to go for. Initially, I wanted to go for a green, so maybe I might go for a green, but I, I was looking at these different pictures of geckos and salamanders and stuff like that, and they had this really nice colourful thing happening. So I might want to go for that. Besides, I was I was also noticing that um this guy does not have any talons and claws. He doesn't look like he's a predator of any sort. In fact, you know, he looks like it's a you know herbivore or a, or a leaf eater, plant eater. So perhaps it's one of those uh, plant eating dragons, perhaps. So yeah, so I I probably go with earthy colors, but maybe I'm I'm very tempted to to work some orange and some blue. Uh, but I'm not so sure. So I think when once I get to the table, then we can can decide uh, whether I'm going to go for um, a, a more uh, green dragon or more like a salamander, you know, gecko, lizard looking um, dragon. So yeah, so that's it. Right, so looking through my box, I found this uh, base over here. It's got, it's got a really nice like a plant thing happening. Perhaps that's what the figure needs, some green. Um, maybe some grass. This, it, it's, it's partly textured, so I may add something else to this. But it looks like, you know, I could maybe, you know, maybe add some water textures if I want to. There seems to be a space for that. That'd be interesting to do, actually, to be honest. But um, yeah. It's a simple base. The only problem is the um, the 3D printing process didn't exactly complete, so I'm gonna have to like fix this a little bit, and this is easily fixed with a little bit of cardboard. Hopefully, the next time you see this, it will not look this bad. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. That's the base. Right. So here's the miniature, um, painted with the uh, oranges and the blues and a little bit of reds. The um, base coat of base white was very helpful to make the figure brighter and the colors more vibrant it would have been more difficult if i based this matte black i then uh, did uh initial skin tone of um, mythical orange to give it a slightly yellowish look and i did the head and the spine with a base coat of uh, dark blue and i added uh progressively added like uh, lighter blue to lighten the whole uh, head and the uh, spine further highlighting it with the um, the whites um, the the tail I went with some reds now once the base color was already done what I did next was I went in with washers and I gave the separations between the skin and the spine a little bit of a red tinge um, the uh, the camo or, or the, the pattern scheme of the blue on the orange the stripes i went there a couple of times because every time i went in and i give it a wash i would highlight it a little bit more um so you do are different tones in the in the stripes itself as for the base um i s simply went for something simple because i wanted the miniature to shine and the contrasting green compared to the orange and the blues they all follow it into a, a, a small palette which which complements each other more or less um and I, I like how it turned out to be honest i like how it turned out this was intentionally done as a salamander but as i was painting the figure i i i think it could be an undead figure of some sort but whatever it is i'm very very happy the way it turned out um and i'm glad i took a chance on it right so that's the third dragon uh i'm uh it's been a while since I painted another dragon, so I thought this would be the new video to do it at. Um, yeah, so I've got a few more dragons to paint, so if you're a fan of this, don't forget to uh, you know let me know in the comments. Comments are extremely important. Like, also, and subscribe. And like me, don't forget to enjoy painting your figures.